Welcome back to the channel guys and welcome to an all new series i.e. the black series where we'll be talking about every single black series model ever made and of course that goes two ways first of all because we'll be talking about every single mercedes amg black series model ever made and secondly it's a proper running series and well starting off we kick it off with the first ever incarnation that kick started the legendary black series lineup on its own where we go back to 2006 which was when the first ever black series model was unveiled i.e. the slk 55 amg black series where of course this was based on its track were the counterpart i.e. the SLK Asia Cup or the SLK Tracksport which of course had a completely massive oversized if you will trunk mounted fuel tank with racing harnesses a complete carbon fiber fixed roof flared wheel arches with racing harnesses and a complete roll cage carbon fiber interior trim carbon fiber where the eye could see with a mixture of plastic especially in the front fenders i.e. the proper flared arches 19 inch lightweight wheels and so on everything that you would want to make it a proper track worthy car it had them but of course they wanted to bring it to a complete functionality to make it a proper daily drivable car and well the outcome of properly putting in that proper factor of its own was the complete result i.e. the proper black series lineup and of course the proper car that kick started it all i.e. the SLK 55 AMG black series and of course this was in fact inspired also by the proper F1 safety car from 2004 to 2005 which was in fact an SLK 55 but this takes it to a whole nother level where of course this of course gets the 5.5 liter NA V8 but this properly bumped up the power from the standard cars which made 360 where this literally made 400 hours per and it could generate a maximum of 520 20 minutes of torque and of course the 5.5 liter NAV8 was also completely hooked to a 7 speed flappy paddle gearbox and automated manual transmission of course flappy paddles if you will and of course on top of that this properly came in with carbon fiber where the eye could see with a mixture of plastic giving it a complete curb weight of 1495 kilograms with the 19 inch lightweight wheels the flared wheel arches and the fixed carbon fiber roof being carried over from the SLK track spot where of course as you guys can see the proper A pillar is not connected with the roof it's just a fixed rooftop on its own carbon fiber of course to keep it as light as possible and of course properly keeping it aerodynamically inclined and on top of that this had a 0 to 60 mile hour time of four and a half seconds a top speed of 173 miles an hour or 278 kilometers an hour not at all bad a proper pocket rocket if you will with a 5.5 navy 8 under the bonnet and of course this could mean that this was probably a competitor to the proper Porsche Boxster but to the fact that only 120 of these were ever made making this the rarest black series model to ever be made and the proper reason reason for that is was the hefty price tag back then which was a proper whopping 107,300 euros for one of these which is literally a complete Porsche Boxster competitor on its own but nevertheless it is still a proper legendary one because of course it properly kick-started the legendary black series lineup although it didn't do as well as Mercedes expected it to the proper following models were definitely a massive leap ahead and properly redefined what Mercedes could do in terms of a complete rare collector car or a proper rare performance car on its own and of course black series models did not come with fog lights but of course this didn't have them because they were replaced with a plethora of air vents to of course cool the brakes and another fun fact about the complete SLK 55 AMG black series is the fact that most of the delivered cars still have the retractable roof mechanism still stuffed into the trunks and that is a complete testament to the laziness of the dealers who were in fact charged by AMG to completely remove them prior to the complete customer delivery of the car and well that's a cool fact because the better part of them still have the mechanisms stuffed into the trunks and of course it's a complete fixed carbon fiber roof it does not retract but nevertheless guys it's still a proper pocket rocket and for the fact that of course although it didn't hit it off particularly because of the complete hefty price tag of nearly 110,000 euros on its own and for the fact that you're getting a proper SLK it is definitely a long shot for back then but the proper fact is it is an icon and, and it always will be due to the fact that it was literally the car that kick-started the legendary black series complete lineup on its own completely inspired by the F1 safety car based on the its complete track worthy counterpart and bring it to the complete functionality of a daily drivable car and that is something that I definitely adore and another fact that I definitely adore is the fact that when you properly put this in scale in terms of size and all that stuff in properly in line with the Porsche Boxer it is on par but you have to keep in mind that this literally got a 5.5 liter naturally aspirated V8 fit in to that small of a package and that is something that I properly love because properly stuffing such proper massive engines into such a small package now that's something that that is properly admirable to look at and to properly see that of course although it's not the most powerful thing in the world it is definitely a 
proper admirable thing to watch a 5.5 liter an aviate churning out 400 hours for 520 minutes of torque all the way back in 2006 not at all bad for a proper sports car on its own but due to the hefty price tag it did not hit it off but nevertheless it is and always will be an icon and of course since only 120 of these were ever made that makes the slk 55 amg black series the rarest black series model to ever be made and well what do you guys think let me know thoughts in comments below and well in terms of the interior it did of course get a complete comment for interior trim to of course keep it on the lines of being a proper track worthy car and to keep it light that is something that i absolutely love with complete count for door cards and so and so and that's what i can see from the pick but nevertheless count for all over now that's something that no one will ever say no to and well thanks a lot for watching is remember to that sub button and click the bell to ensure you don't miss out on any future videos thanks a lot for watching i see ya